हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल आई एम कार्तिक कुमार फैकल्टी ऑफ बायोलॉजी फ्रॉम जी जेस एंड मैरी अकेडमी आई एम हेयर टू टेक अ लेक्चर फॉर क्लास सेवन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर क्लास सेवन इज प्लान टिश्यू बिफोर द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ मोर डिटेल रिलेटेड टू द प्लान टिश्यू वी शुड नो अबाउट द टिश्यू फर्स्ट the tissue is group of cell with having the similar structure and function is called a tissue that means as we know that earlier from the previous classes cell is the structural and functional unit of life but the group of cell to form a tissue that means it is the second layer of the uh, life that's why it is the tissue to form a next level for organization that is organ and combination of organ to form a organ system and lots of organ system combined together to form an organism so this is the total procedure for the cell to the organism and one more thing about related to the tissue because we are here to study about the tissue so tissue is also a structural and functional unit of organ because as the tissue made up of the group of cells just as equal as the organ is the organ is made up of group of tissue and it is the structural and functional unit of organ that's why it is the group of cell to having the similar function and structural is called tissue the study of tissue is called histology what histology the study of tissue is called histology here a simple and short chart related to the plant tissue we should remember this chart because it will be help in the next sim classes so the plant tissue can be divided into two types the first one is meristematic tissue and the second one is permanent tissue meristematic tissue can be also divided into three types apical meristem lateral meristem and intercalary same as permanent tissue can be divided into two types simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue simple permanent tissue can also be classified into three categories or three types the first one is parenchyma the second one is collenchyma and last one is sclerenchyma same as for the complex permanent tissue the complex permanent tissue divided into two, two types the first important one is xylem and second one is phloem we will discuss each and every topic in detail so let's start the first one is meristematic tissue here the meaning of meristematic tissue means it is also known as temporary type of tissue why because it is first and essential type of tissue which helps in growing and elongation of plant body parts that's why it is also called as temporary tissue because it's situated at a point for some time that's why it is called as temporary let's take a example suppose the initial height of a plant is 3 cm or 5 cm it is the tip of the plant at the time of initial stage the height of plant was 5 cm after few days the height of the plant will increase and obtained as 7 cm these 2 cm are increased in few day just because of the differentiation in meristematic tissue and meristematic tissue is applicable for the growing of the plant parts that means 
it is the parts it is the plant parts which is responsible for the growing of the area that means which will be increase the elongation part of the plant for the stem and root as well now let's study the characteristics about the meristematic tissue the characteristics of meristematic tissue are the cells of meristematic tissue are very small in size and the cell wall is thin and vacuoles are mostly absent what is vacuoles vacuoles are only found in a plant cells this is the vacuole and it is totally absent it is mostly absent it are not always so we can simply say to as this is the plant vacuoles and it absent in meristematic tissue the cell wall is thin okay more characteristics of meristematic tissue are they are spherical longitudinal or oval in shape the size of meristematic tissue and shape of meristematic tissue can be vary because they have a different types of shape present in a meristematic tissue now the next characteristics of meristematic tissue is it is compactly arranged without any intercellular space what is the mean of this sentence the sentence said is the cells are together to form as without any intercellular space that means compactly arranged and what is intercellular space the intercellular space is a space between two cells here we can simply see in here there is no any kind of space found between two cells that is why we can said here the intercellular space are totally absent in meristematic tissue and the presence of prominent nucleus is present in meristematic kind uh, meristematic tissue what is the prominent nucleus the prominent nucleus means well developed nucleus well developed nucleus that kind of nucleus which having the nuclear membrane nucleolus nucleoplasm and all the characteristics which is applicable for the nucleus having found in the cells this is called prominent type of nucleus is it okay now the next characteristics having presence of abundant cytoplasm what is abundant cytoplasm abundant cytoplasm means cell having nucleus and dense cell organelles that means the group of cell organelles and nucleus found in a cell is called abundant cytoplasm do you know what the cytoplasm what is cytoplasm the cytoplasm is suppose it is a cell and the outermost layer of the cell is plasma membrane and if we are talking about the plant cell the additional layer of plant cell is called cell wall and inside of the plasma membrane there are cytoplasm and nucleus are founded this is the cytoplasm inside of cytoplasm there are lots of cell organelles found and nucleus is present that kind of characteristics for the cytoplasm is called as abundant cytoplasm means dense cell organelle with a cell, uh, nucleus is present in a cytoplasm is called abundant cytoplasm is it okay now we are here for the function of meristematic tissue 
before the meristematic tissue function of meristematic tissue it was the characteristics i told you earlier and don't be confused about the characteristics and function the characteristics means how it behaves as how it looks as and how to perform means if the some cell or tissue is for performing in different kinds that will be the function of that kind of cells or tissue that is functions and function of meristematic tissue is the meristematic tissue divided continuously and continuously meristematic tissue divides to form a different and new kinds of tissue for the different kinds of other types of tissue like we will discuss later in the next function we will see that it helps in the increasing of length and girth or width of the plant why it increasing the length i told you and and show you in example how do meristematic tissue helps in the increasing of health uh, length in the next function it continuously form a number of new cells just because it form a number of new cells that's why the number of new meristematic cells are perform to elongate the plant tissue that's why we can simply say it as the meristematic tissue continuously form the number of new cells here now the on the basis of location meristematic tissue can be divided into three types as i said earlier this is the meristematic tissue and here the three types of meristematic tissue apical meristem lateral meristem and intercalary meristem now we will discuss each and every types of meristematic tissue in detail the first is apical meristem let me show you a diagram it is the diagram of meristematic tissue where all the three different kinds of meristematic tissue found in a single diagram it is the apical meristem it is the intercalary and it is lateral meristem intercalary and lateral meristem we will discuss in later now first we have discuss about the apical meristem apical meristem it is occurs at the tip of the plant that means tip of either root or shoot at the end of root or shoot it is found a apical meristem which is applicable for the elongation or increasing in the length of the plant that's why here the function of apical meristem is it increases the length and elongation part of the plant cells is it okay now the next the next type of meristematic tissue is lateral meristem and lateral meristem are arranged in parallel manner beside the epidermis of the plant what is the epidermis let me show you once again in diagram this is the diagram of meristematic tissue and this is the cork cambium outside of cork cambium this is epidermis this is epidermis and after the epidermis the cell the intercalary having the two kinds of cambium cells are present the first one is cork cambium and the second one is vascular cambium two types of cambium combinedly together name as lateral meristem we will not discuss the vascular uh, cambium and cord cambium because it is not in your syllabus that's why we will discuss only about the lateral meristem so now we are here for the function of lateral meristem lateral meristem having the function it causes the increasing in the girth or width of the plant that means it increases 
it increases the surface area it increases the surface area of the plant in the form of weakness that means it increases the width of the plant now the about the intercalary intercalary is present at the basis of internodes it is present at the base of internodes and its function is it increases the length of the plant organ what is the plant organ different types of organ formed as a combination of cells or tissue to form a organ so let's take an example suppose it is the plant and it is the internodes of the plant parts and between the internodes the intercalary meristem are present and just because of the intercalary meristem the length between the internodes will increases that means if the internodes height will increases or elongated just because due to the intercalary meristem is it okay 